Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, I want to show you how to share iOS apps between two users using different Apple IDs. So, say you have two people in your household. Each of you has a different Apple ID, and you each have your own iPhone or iPad or different iOS device. One of you buys an app at the store and you want to share that with the other person. Now the other person could simply buy that app as well and I'm sure the developer would appreciate that. But there's also a way to share that app between people in the same household even if they're using different IDs. So what you're going to do is you're going to use home sharing. This is the same system you would use if you want to share music between different people in the same household. So this is done in iTunes on your Mac or PC. Uh, it's so it's not done directly on the iOS device. Now in there you can actually look and see what apps you've got here, the apps that you have. And if you've been syncing your iPhone with iTunes on your desktop, you know that you've got all of your apps there as well. So say I have one of these that I've purchased and I want to share that with one of the other people in my household. Well, there are a couple steps you need to do. First thing you need to do is you need to turn on home sharing and you need to do this for both computers. So we go to advanced and we turn on home sharing and we're going to enter a Apple ID and the password. And the idea here is that you're going to use only one Apple ID. It's going to be an identifier that kind of identifies the home sharing network. So if you have person A and person B in your house, you may want to choose and say, okay, person A, that's the Apple ID we're going to use for home sharing. And you want to enter that Apple ID and the password in, in both computers. So even though person B has their own Apple ID, they're using person's, person A, their ID for the identifier for home sharing. So the two computers now match up and have the, the same home sharing ID. So now that you've turned on home sharing for both computers using the same exact Apple ID, I can go to the second computer, say this is person B here, and I can look at in their iTunes and I've turned on home sharing, and I can see person A's iTunes collection there. And it's got a little shared house icon there. The house tells you it's home sharing rather than just regular sharing. And I can look in all the different categories by opening this up and click on apps. And I can see all the different apps that this person has available including purchased apps. So let's say that I want to take an app that they've purchased and I want to put it in my collection. Like here's Pages. I'm going to drag Pages over to the library here and that's going to copy Pages. So it's copying it from one computer or one user account on this same machine to the library here. And now if I go over into Apps I can see that Pages now exists in this collection as well. But you're not quite done yet because what you need to do is you need to authorize this user to use apps purchased by the first. So if you go to the store menu you can see authorize this computer and here I can actually enter in an Apple ID and a password and what I want to do is I want to enter in the first person's Apple ID and password. So I would actually have my iTunes collection authorized for two Apple IDs, mine and person I'm sharing with. So for a complete solution you would have home sharing using one Apple ID between both people and then authorize each collection for person A and B and the other one for person A and B as well. So once you do this you can now copy apps one by one over to your collection and you can share apps between the two people. They have to be of course on the same network since it's home sharing and you have to have the same home sharing ID and auth authorized each other on each other's iTunes so that you can use apps that were purchased by one account or the other. So one important note is you have to have iTunes running on the first machine in order to see it on the second. And it also works if you're on the same computer. You have two user accounts. You use fast user switching to go to the second one. Make sure the first one has iTunes running and the second account will be able to see all the stuff there. That's exactly what I was doing in this tutorial. It's pretty easy to get it going uh, after you do it the first time. You can always see the stuff there and shared. You can bring over apps. And then once you have the apps in your own collection, you do the normal thing where you would uh, select to have those sync to your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. And that's how you get them onto the device. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.